August the 31st, 2008, Race City Speedway in Calgary, Alberta. It was called Nitro Madness, and it would prove to be the final drag racing event ever at this wonderful facility. After a couple of days of preliminaries and gathering up some of the best nostalgia drag racers in the entire Northwest, it rained. But not before we got to see some great stuff including a really, really neat cackle fest. 1964 NHRA Winter Nationals win, record of 149.75 mi miles per hour with a 9.70 ET. He shortened it five inches in the rear when he changed it over to glass, and it's got a Tony Nancy interior in it. And in 1966, it was changed over to a 430 cubic inch 1956 Hemi with a BM, uh, b and hydromatic transmission. That thing went for years without losing. Owned and driven by original driver Jerry King and Jerry Mann. Raced in 66 and 70, right through to 1970. Set a national record for sea fuel dragster at 175 miles per hour, 180 inch Woody Gilmore chassis. 310 cubic inch small block Chevy Nitro injected. All right, this is a beautiful rig coming up right here. Now, 57 old flag. The car was built in 1958. It was small block about 1962 until now. The car is dedicated to the memory of Dick Morton. Okay, the next car up is uh, Kevin Bertram, and uh, some of you guys might recognize the car. This was the original Royal Canadian. It was raced by Jenner and Kohut, and uh, okay, okay, now I'm in trouble. Nick Kozak, and uh, it's been restored to run to current specs by Kevin Bertram, and uh, so a lot of you guys will remember this car from running way, way back in, uh, in Shepherd. Originally with a front drive Potvin blower on it. Competed in the Northwest Nats tracks, Northwest tracks throughout the 60s and retired in 1968. Got awarded for best appearing car in 1961 at the NHRA Winter Nationals. Set a speed record for its class in 1963. NHRA Winter Nationals, 169 miles per hour. The car was brought out of retirement in 1986 and featured in the Expo 86 in Vancouver. Raced again in 1987 in Fremont, California. And he as you heard earlier, Jack crashed it off the end of the racetrack because the chutes failed. So he rebuilt it in 1988 and wasn't seen again until the year 2000. Now he runs at all these tracks and these reunions that they go to throughout BC and the Pacific Northwest. And Wendy Ann is at the wheel.
25 years, that'd be a good time eat to camera. open a new track, wouldn't it? <laughs> I said eat camera, a hat, anyway, a hat taking a picture of a cap. A little bit of rain, never hurt anybody. Enjoy the night and enjoy the racing. Make it a great weekend. I think we're moving Thanks out. Thanks very much, Joe Conley. Thanks, Joe. Thanks, out of the rain. Yeah, that. yeah that's true, out of the rain. This, uh, if this little wade drops goes away, we'll try to get this track dry, so don't don't give up on us yet tonight. We're not giving up. And uh, we're just gonna hope that uh, maybe this little cloud goes by us and that's it for the moisture. We can get this dried up and run some fuel alterts. Give you an opportunity to get yourself over to the Pit Stop Cafe and have yourself something to eat. Grab a race city logger. Better rain than never. And go see Jesse over in Thunder Rapids. It's Rally. done. It's She's finished. It's excellent. Facing the old side of the racetrack. And uh, you can see her. If you haven't seen her for earplugs already. But a cackle fest is a cackle fest is something we wanted to do here in Calgary, and uh, we wanted to have a reunion before uh, there's no more berries left here. And we wanted to get some. going to continue our little visit to Calgary in a couple of days with an interview with an absolute NHRA legend from Cowtown. So come on back in a couple of days to the place where the fast rides go right here on YouTube, Horsepower Heaven 2.